Welcome to another Pencil 2D tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to add a background that stays the same even though something in the foreground is changing. So our animation will have a constant background with an animated object in the foreground. So if we did a little square right here and we want this square to advance, we know we can add a, the next frame. I'll turn onion skin on here so we can uh, see you know, where this is moving. But if we wanted to have this moving in relation to something else, Maybe we want to have in the background, we want to have some mountains over here and a nice, you know, the sun in the sky or something like that. And we want that to stay the same. Well, if we advance to the next frame, that all disappears and we just see the box. The only way we can see it is in the onion skin, which isn't going to show up in our final rendering. So the way to make this stay constant is to add it, uh, to draw it on a separate layer. I'm going to go control Z to undo this drawing that I did. And we're going to come down here to the bottom and notice we're on this bitmap layer right now. We can also draw the background on the vector layer, but vector does behave different than bitmap. So I would say stay away from it for the time being until we cover that. But go ahead and hit this plus sign and we can add another bitmap layer. And we can call this one uh, background and hit OK. And now we have a background layer that we can draw on. So everything we draw here is now happening on the background layer and not on this foreground layer. I'll hit controls you to undo that because what we really want to do is move this background to a lower uh, level. Right now, the background is on, in front because it's on top. Uh, it's the it's above the bitmap layer, and the bitmap layer is the one that has our rectangle. So I'm going to left click and hold, and we can just drag this background down, and now it's on a lower level than the bitmap. And we could even lower it. I mean, below the vector if we wanted to, but anything now drawn on top will go over top of the background. But we click on the background to make sure we're drawing on that uh, layer. And then we just go to the tool we want and we draw our background the way we want it. So we can get some mountains like we had. We can have the sun in the sky. We could even do like a little house over here. Whatever we want to have. And this is all going to uh, stay. So when we go to the next frame, we see this box is moving like we want it to. But the, everything else is staying. We can watch our little animation and loop it over and over again. And sure enough, our background is staying the same. And that's because anything, anytime you draw something on a, on a frame and then nothing after it, it will automatically just freeze and hold that drawing. So if we go to frame 5 right now, we see this, this uh, rectangle or square is also being held in that frame. Um, we could create some animation now if we wanted to with the sun. If we, ever, if we go and add a keyframe in at 12 now, it's going to... Uh, get rid of all that. So it's still in at 11, but at 12, it all it gets rid of it all. And so now we'd have to turn on onion skin and try to redraw that sun a little bit differently if we want it to smile or something. And we could either copy the mountains or trace and redraw them pretty close to exactly the same. But if we don't get it exactly, it might look kind of funny and redraw the house. Anyway, you see what I'm saying? So we could actually animate the background if we want to. It behaves just the same way as the foreground layer, but that's how you would have a uh, a separate um, non-moving background is just draw it on frame one and then never add a frame in on that uh, layer. Um, one more thing I'll show you is if we go to uh, bring in, I have an image here on Pixabay. So I downloaded this. This is by user uh, Krista. So appreciate them uh, creating and sharing this and I've downloaded it now and I can actually import it by going to file uh, import and go to import image and I'll find this uh, background that I imported and now we see we can use this as a, a background for our animation it's on this uh, bitmap layer one now but we can rename this we just double click on it and so we can call this uh, background and we're not going to make any changes to it but we can add another layer and we'll call this um, foreground and now this is kind of a more proper way to do it. We have the foreground in front of the background. So anything we draw on here, we can draw like try and draw an airplane in the sky or something. And we could have this airplane actually animate and we could spend a lot more time on it and make it look kind of nice. And we can have this be move around in our animation. I hope this video helped you understand how backgrounds work in Pencil 2D. Go ahead and leave your questions below if you have any and comments. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.